Avocados are definitely not just for salads. I like to include them whenever I can, but one of my favorite ways to highlight them is with avocado egg rolls. It's a vegetarian take on an Asian classic, and it's a huge crowd pleaser. When you're shopping for avocados, what you want to look for is that it gives a little bit when you squeeze it, but it's not completely overripe. It should be a little bit firm. The thing is though that when you're shopping for them, a lot of times you either stumble upon avocados that are way too hard or overripe. So when that happens, go ahead and purchase the ones that are way too tough. Then when you take them home, put them in a paper bag with an apple or a banana and within a day or two, they'll be ready to go. For this recipe, I have four Haas avocados, which nine times out of 10 is what you'll find in the grocery store. They're really creamy and they're super good for you. Now, when you're prepping avocados, of course, the goal here is to get the skin off. And my favorite way to do that is to just first cut it in half. And if the avocado is ready, it should just come apart like that. Now, for this recipe, we want to cube it. So I'll just run my knife. along the flesh to create cubes. Then grab a spoon and just scoop it out. That's the easiest, fastest way to peel an avocado. Avocados are definitely the star of this dish, but we're going to add a few more ingredients to balance it out. First, I have sun-dried tomatoes. You can find these either jarred in oil, like I have here, or dehydrated, in which case you just put them in water and reconstitute them. So I'm just going to julienne them and cut them into thin strips like that before putting them in with avocados. This is gonna add a little savory element it's gonna balance really nice. And the oil is really nice here too because it'll add even more creaminess and play well with the fat content of the avocado. For a little kick of spice, we'll add a jalapeno. When you're prepping a jalapeno, if you don't wanna include the seeds, just stand it up on your cutting board and cut around the inside. The seeds will be separated and all you'll be left with is exactly what you want. We'll just cut the jalapeno into a small dice. We'll also add in about half of a red onion. And you'll see a lot of these flavors are similar to what you'd find in guacamole. Jalapenos, onions, cilantro that we'll add are classic combination. It's going to be great in these egg rolls. And finally, we'll add some cilantro. Especially when you're frying, you wanna add herbs to counterbalance the oil and the fattiness that you get from the dish. We'll add a few seasonings, a couple teaspoons of garlic powder, salt, and of course, fresh ground black pepper. As you mix the ingredients, the avocado will begin to fall apart and create a creaminess that'll bind all of these beautiful, fresh ingredients together. The filling is ready to go, so let's go ahead and fill up those egg rolls. So, just grab an egg roll wrapper with one corner facing you, then take a heaping spoonful of the filling. Now, grab the corner closest to you and fold it over the filling. Then, bring in both sides before rolling it up. And finally, I mixed an egg with a little bit of water and that'll be our glue to keep this all together. There you go, we have an egg roll. Frying the egg rolls is really simple. I've already put about a quarter inch of canola oil in a heavy bottomed pan, which is what you want when you're frying. And we'll just gently start frying our egg rolls. I'm not deep frying them to at least make this a little bit healthier. We're just waiting for the egg rolls to turn a golden brown. When you're removing these from the pan, put them on a paper grocery bag. For some reason, they end up being more crispy than if you were to drain them on a paper towel. So let's go ahead and plate them. 
I like to serve the avocado egg rolls with some kind of dip. In this case, I mixed sour cream, green onion, cilantro, and lime to add a little fresh kick along with those egg rolls. To serve them, I cut them in half diagonally with a sharp knife. And what that does is it lets you show off that beautiful green interior. And just line them up right around the dip. This dish is such a great way to show off the creaminess and richness the avocado has to offer. It's perfect for a party or whenever you're in the mood for avocados. Now all that's left to do is eat.